Too many believe that adventure is a constantly beautiful escape into the wild. Catching a big old fish! Yeah, look at that! <laughs> we hate to destroy the illusion, but it's called the wild for a reason. And those swinging around perfect storm style. It is harsh and unforgiving, and more often than not, Are you okay down there? things go wrong. The boat's okay, right? Oh, me? Oh, really, really wrong. How you get in? And here? But adventure is what we live for. And we're hopelessly addicted. <laughs> we are just cruising around these little channels. And but there's a big volcano up ahead. Huge volcano. I'm Joey, <laughs> and this is my wife Kelsey. <laughs> we left our successful careers behind to be pirates. Well, not exactly pirates, but close enough. Arr Meet the pirate ship, the one of a kind, 50-foot sailboat we rescued and renovated. What is in there? The dream? Sail over 2,000 miles from San Diego to Nicaragua. Arrive alive, start a business in a developing country, and offer others the sailing adventure of a lifetime in a country we love. Simple, right? Nothing worthwhile ever is. Previously on Jive, most people believe getting married is equivalent to settling down. After a year of doing this social norm, we escaped. Our plan? Fix it up. Just took the goddamn radiator off. Sail it down to Nicaragua and offer sailing charters. Some call us dreamers, some call us doers, others think we've totally lost it. The truth is, we're probably a mix of it all. People often ask us why we picked Central America, and the list is long. The culture. Hola! 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 ¿Cómo te llama? ¿Y usted? ¿Cómo te llama? ¿José? Mismo, Jose. Jose Pablo. <laughs> the wilderness. They're like right here this time. They're like right above us. The surf. The adventure. But to get to Central America, we need help. I've put a lot into getting the boat ready for this voyage, but just as important as the crew. A month at sea is a long, long time. One thing you have to take into account when you're getting a crew together, it has to be somebody that you're gonna kind of mesh with because a boat, even a 50 foot boat, gets really, really small, really, really fast when you're sailing out on the ocean and the only people you can talk to are those guys. Yeah, let's do it. So the last thing you want is somebody who's gonna cause problems, somebody who's gonna be talking trash about the rest of the crew. You just gotta clean them, just clean them. Those kind of problems might seem small, but when you're together that long and you can't get away from each other, they can kind of ruin it. I've climbed mountains all over the world and through journeys spent in tents on icy slopes for weeks at a time, I've learned firsthand the value of being with the right people. So far on the crew list we have me, my little brother Greg, who's really not so little standing tall at six foot five. He's one of the nicest Gosh. guys you'll ever meet. Oh, so sensual. And my beautiful wife, Kelsey. She might be cute and tiny, but she does better in tough situations than most anyone I've ever met. Regardless how great they are, I can't sail the pirate ship by myself, and they're lacking in the experience category. She's out on our ship. Needless to say, we need some people who know what they are doing. Which is what led us here to Santa Barbara. We heard through a friend about these guys, so we drove the four hours north from San Diego to check them out. 
Definitely not a bad business trip. Good news is I have two new guys. They're young, hungry, adventurous sailors. Meet Quincy. Hey, how's it going? My name's Quincy Briscoe from Ashland, Oregon. And Travis. I look to get out of this trip is uh, just that sense of adventure. This is, this is what makes me happy, this is what I love to do, and I'm just happy to have this opportunity to be a part of this boat, part of the, the crew, and get this boat safely where it needs to go. As a team, we have a few things in common. Our need for adventure and our love for nature. It sounds silly, but honestly what I am most excited for is to see the stars at night out on the open ocean. We have the team, now we just need the supplies. I've been anticipating this part. Actually, I think we all have. Because who doesn't enjoy loading multiple grocery carts full of food? There's really no method to the madness. The co-captains are getting a little liberal, throwing in anything and everything. Man, this is ridiculous. Greg's cart? Well, this is just embarrassing. Joey and I were sticking to our list. Uh, veggies we hit hard, onions we hit hard, sweet potatoes I didn't see. Uh, no, we did get potatoes though, like Potatoes, veggies. okay, potatoes. Then work. there is the alcohol aisle. What kind of pirate ship would it be if we didn't have a rum stash that would make Jack Sparrow proud? It's ridiculous! And more than half the trip would be spent in Mexican waters, so it would be bad form not to have tequila on board. And to show some patriotism, I figured we should have some whiskey. Okay, so we didn't skip much when it came to booze, but if we ended up floating in a life raft in the middle of the Pacific, we need plenty of beverages as we waited for the sea to swallow us up. Back at the marina, the moment Joey's been waiting for is finally here. What's up, guys? What's up? Man, I'm Joey. Alex, I'm so good psyched to meet you guys. Good to meet you. Good to meet you guys. I'm gonna open this up on the boat if you guys are cool. Yeah, that would oh, be awesome. sweet. I don't even know what it looks like. All the excitement is about Joey's custom-made Robert August board. Yeah. The unveiling. I just wanted to do it ever since I got over there. He has no idea what it looks like, but to say he's excited is definitely an understatement. Sick balsa wood center. Ah! Oh, this is so fresh. Good God. So shiny. What? That's dumb. That's so Hit some great waves on the way down. So. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Where are you guys headed? Nicaragua. Oh, nice. So yeah, we got Sweet. a huge That's journey. Sweet. Leaving tomorrow. Crazy. Cool. We tackled some last-minute stuff. We gave roll over a good bath. Checked the sails condition once again. And soaked in the San Diego sun for the last time. It's now or never. I'm stuck on this thing for a month. I don't know the next time I'm gonna be able to, you know, move my body, get out and run. We have no time left to spare. It's time to take off. It's Monday about four o'clock and we're still here. Or so I thought. Hi there, um, I was coming, we're looking for uh, charts. We, we have the new Garmin uh, glass helm and we found out just today we're about to leave for her sailing in Nicaragua and I, don't have the charts down to uh, part of Mexico. Maps for our GPS are have, kind of essential number. for this voyage, and we're missing the map from San Diego to Cabo, also so known as the West entire West Baja that's Peninsula. The one, yeah, that's South the America West Coast. The charts we have start in like the middle of Mexico. Hello? Hey, Nine sorry about zero. that. Hello? Yes. G2 Tar Cali to Mexico for my nice. Garmin unit. Do you guys have the part on stock? You have it in your hand. Okay, great. Which, this I is, win. this is which Rose Camp Krantz location? After a lot of phone calls, we okay. finally got what we needed. We'll, uh, we'll come pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. We oh. got it. It's all taken care of now. Well, almost. We just got to pick it up. My emotions are all over the place. I'm enthusiastic, curious, and a bit fearful. <laughs> but probably not fearful enough. Like any explorer embarking on a dangerous quest, I'm filled with anxiety, uncertainty, 
doubt, but above all, inexplicable excitement. There's only one thing left to do. Christen the old girl. Next time on Jive. That moment when we pulled out and knowing we're not gonna come back and knowing we're done at that slip and this boat's been in that slip for 20 plus years. Right now I'm partly terrified, uh, partly excited. Second time we showed up, immigration let us check in, but it was more than a little stressful. Too many believe that adventure is a constantly beautiful escape into the wild. Catching a big old fish! 